I was watching. There's a show. James Elroy had a show. I don't even. I, I only watched the first one. It's called James Elroy's Los Angeles City of Demons. Yeah. It and talks he used about to, like the darkness. Yeah, he likes to get noir and yeah. real. He lived, the I believe, underbelly. he grew up like 0.2 miles away from the very studio here, is where he grew up till he was like, I think, till like 10. His mother was actually murdered in, in Los Angeles. And that's sort of what got him, at least in the path of the um, sort of seedier side of things. Um, really crazy. I mean, he. I didn't um, know his mother was murdered. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, no computer, no cell phone, doesn't watch television. Doesn't Currently? Re- yeah, doesn't read novels, doesn't read newspapers, and doesn't go to movies. Just Weird, kicks right? It. Just kicks it. Uh, his second ex-wife, her name is Helen Node, and she is a writer, and she li- was living in Los Angeles. They were married here. Um, it was, she wanted to give him a gift, so she's thinking, like, what would be a crazy present? So she went to... Um, UCLA archive and she was going to look up old crime photos like you know 1950s like LA black and white crime photos she figured she'd get something dope totally original gift like you know here you go Um, she happened to like stumble across um, police files of his mother's murder she's like oh like so she started doing like her own little research and she um, she found a a police file that was like a manila folder entitled Gene Elroy. She's like, holy shit, this is like my husband's like murdered fucking mother. Um, and this is not something at this time that he talked about or, I mean, she knew of it, but it wasn't, you know, something just, you know, not wasn't a topic of conversation. She opens up the file and it contains one thing. All it is, it's a 8 by 10 black and white photograph of James Elroy taken 10 minutes after he learned that his mother was murdered. He's standing in the kitchen of his childhood house, just like at the kitchen sink, like with a, you know, it's a LAPD, like huge light, like um, 10 years old. Uh, she framed it, gets it, gets a copy of it, frames it, wraps it up. And on Christmas day, Here. pulls it out from under the tree. Like, I love you, baby. Like thinking like this is going to, He's 45 years old when she does this. It's been 35 years. He not only has never talked about it, it turns out that it's something that he he knows it happened, but, but he, he doesn't. Almost. He put it out of his brain as not something. He's never seen this photograph. He tears off the brown paper like, what did I get? And fucking loses his shit. Goo-goo. Like, goodbye. Why good night. Why would you do this? Why don't Why you love you me? Give me this present, <laughs> Santa! Santa! Just lost his shit. They got divorced. He's totally lost his mind. It's like twenty-five years later now, and he's like written the craziest books ever because he just went off the deep end. <laughs> that's so. Merry Christmas. Hey, that's okay. Listen. Okay. Just all things considered. All things considered. You definitely would want to share that with the person. It's him when he's 10. It's a little crazy to surprise somebody within the context of like a Christmas or even a birthday. Like Bing Crosby playing? Like to wrap it up and give it to them. You know, that brown, like that awesome brown paper that wraps a big awesome frame. frame. Heavy. It's a lithograph of some sort. This is going to be real. Yeah. You know, I love Peter Max. This is a Peter Max print. Oh, I'm so excited. (laughs) Oh, no. It's just your face. It's just you. Your 10-year-old Ten minutes after you found out that your mother was murdered, left alone with no father. Yeah. Yeah, definitely something I think you'd want to know if it existed. You might want to suss that out. kind of ease into into it. it. Be like, listen, I've been doing this thing. I was looking for some stuff. I've come up with something. I love you. I love you. Do you like votives? I bought you one. I I love you. you. Was that Sir Latab? Look, look what I got you. I thing. love you. I got you a colander. Some Let's sort of prep. First. Some sort of prep. No, dropped it on him. Cuckoo. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there you have it. There they're, you have it. So you are you saying that they got divorced because of? Oh, they got divorced because he's a fucking lunatic. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, 